Um, if anyone wants to think of, um, you know, tangible steps um, toward, that they can take towards um, loving those who have lived and died alone. Um, New York just lost a real icon recently. Um, her name was Cecilia Gentili. And um, she was one of the most fearsome um, activists and artists and writers, actors, um, creators, models, and she was responsible for setting up a lot of the trans healthcare infrastructure in New York. She, yeah, she set up the program um, at Aperture Community Health Center, that is actually where I received my um, trans-related medical care. And um, a few weeks ago, maybe almost a month ago at this point, more than a month ago, um, we just lost Cecilia. And um, it was a big loss and it hurts. And um, she kind of is like a beacon and a shining example of like what dedicating yourself towards everybody's collective liberation can look like. And um, there's the Cecilia Gentili a Legacy Fund um, that is kind of, you know, it's been established as now just like a standing thing that's going to house um, homeless trans youth and provide medical care for trans people, provide relief for sex workers, provide resources for immigrants. Those were Cecilia's big three. Trans rights, sex worker rights, and immigrant rights. And she has left behind a stunning example for us. But I should get off my soapbox because I'm just a hot idiot. <laughs> and um, although I can certainly run my mouth convincingly, the ultimate truth of it all is just that... Um, sweet memory, get a good shot, as it crosses my mind, I don't know what I'm doing, more than half of the time, I don't know what I'm doing, more than half of the time, James Shepard everybody. Super Chef. 